Heads high is our posture. Against all odds, we gon' prosper. We know our place in this world. We gon' shine our lights till it hurts. Staying focused, we know our day coming. Negative vibes, we escape from it. We know our place in this world. We gon' shine our lights till it hurts. What's good? What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Urban Platform Speaks. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe as you come into the channel and check out the content. Um, and with that being said, I'm going to get right into this this topic right here. Um, Donna Tarasi, right, playing for uh, for Team USA, recently got benched. And uh, I, I think it's, you know, like I have noticed with Donna Tarasi lately that she, uh, she has had like a, a fall off in her production. And that, that's to be expected. You know, Donna Tarasi has been in the league for, uh, for 20 years. You know, she's been playing professional basketball for 20 years. And so a lot of fans are saying, like, man, you know, we could have had we could have had Caitlin Clark, you know, um, we could have had Caitlin Clark in here. I'm sure that she would have been a, you know, her impact on the team would have been would have been larger than what, what we're getting from Donna Tarasi, right? Because now in the last three games, Donna Tarasi has scored like a total of three points. And I didn't know that until recently. Till, you know, until I looked it up. But, Reese, you know, her last three games, she scored a total of three points. Now, they were playing uh, – let me see. Team USA was playing uh, – who were they playing? Uh, I think – oh, they were playing Nigeria. They was playing Nigeria, and, and they beat um, – you know, so everybody thinks – you know, most people think that that they're going to get the goal. So that's, that's not in question. But – what people are saying is that like if they would have if this if they would have had Caitlin Clark on the team with her popularity, you know, number one, they would have got more production out of her than three just three points. And uh number two, like attendance would be up because now this last game that like I said, when they played Nigeria, they only had like a little bit over twelve thousand um 12,000 fans, you know, who attended this game. But, you know, like, uh, uh, with with Caitlin Clark, she averaged like around about 20,000 fans, you know. So th this is this would have been more of an opportunity for them to have a, uh, you know, larger crowds in the stand watching the games. And then they would have been able to, you know, get more production out of it. So that's why people are saying that, Team USA probably regrets having uh, Donna Taurasi there, and in my opinion, the big part, the big reason why Donna Taurasi was there is because they tried, where well, they was trying to get her this record. Like this is her uh, sixth time, her sixth, you know, time going to the Olympics. So I think that was the idea about it. You know what I mean? They just wanted to send her off in a, uh, you know, with this record. They wanted to send her off with this uh, record. This will be her sixth. Olympic gold medal, um, you know, assuming that they win this year. And so that, that'll be a record that, you know, it may not, there may not be another player who comes along who had at least the opportunity to, um, and the longevity to get this kind of record. But like I said, a lot of fans were like, well, we could have got, you know, Caitlin, I'm sure she would have gave us more than three points in three games. Um, and the attendance would have been up, you know, because of the, uh, you know, the, her, 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 her fan base. And so, you know, that's my take on it. I mean, I, I think that, you know, I mean, I don't see, I think that Caitlin Clark will have plenty of opportunities to, to go to the Olympics and, and to, you know, and to win gold medals. Um, hopefully she'll have a 20 year, you know, had a kind of longevity that Donna Tarasi had. And then she, who knows, she may be able to attend uh, how many, like six different Olympics herself. That's, that's a lot of Olympics, you know, cause Olympics only happen like once every four years. And so, you know, that that's a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of different Olympics that she had the opportunity to go to, but after I'm sure that Caitlin Clark will get her chance and, uh, Hopefully she'll win some gold medals for USA and, you know, 
it is what it is. Donna Taurasi really not hurting the team. I think, um, you know, if she's not performing the way that they want her to perform, then, you know, she can they, they can always cut her minutes. But she did recently get benched, like I said. And, you know, I've seen a decline in her play, though. Even during the season, like when they played the Indiana Fever, she didn't really – um, she didn't really – the first game, she didn't really do good at all. The second game, I don't think she played in the second game. So, her, you know, she's definitely on the decline. And I'm not surprised that she's not having, like, a real good uh, showing at the Olympics. And so that's why, you know, they, they basically sat her down. Um, so, yeah, that, that's my take on it. Um, make sure to like and subscribe. And with that being said, don't forget to leave a comment. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Peace.